here before. Final of the men's 1500 meters, T11. Strong field, complete visual impairment. They've all won a title at one stage or another. We've got the reigning European, World, Pan Am, Asian and Paralympic champions all in this. Jason Dunkley of Canada, twice world champion previously. And he's the reigning 5,000 meters Pan Am champion. He won the silver in the 5,000 in Doha. Wilson by bronze in the 5,000 meters here. Didn't finish the five in London. The reigning Asian Games champion from Japan, Shinya Wada, won the eight of the 15 of the 5,000 meters titles in Incheon. The reigning Paralympic Games champion over 1,500 meters and our 5,000 meters champion here, Samuel Kamani of Kenya. Four times world, current reigning world, and Pan Am champion for Brazil, Odeir Santos. Semi Denis, the reigning European champion. He's won the last two titles and he's representing Turkey. It's been a terrific day for Brazil already. So underway in the men's 1500 meters final, T11, complete visual impairment, Denise Santos, Kamani, Wada, Bai, and Dunkley. Denise taking good perch on the inside with this guy, Mohamed Emin Tan. He won his semi final, Kamani and Bai the same. Good lead, he's opening up actually straight away in this 1500 meters final, skipping away ahead of the rest. Santos taking a comfortable position on the outside. Bai leading for Kenya. Kamani going well out on the outside. Kamani's heading out towards lane three and four. But Bai in a comfortable position. Denise in second place. Real cluster then behind. Four third with three laps to go. Yeah, a little bit of uh, touching going on there as the Brazilian moved up into third place. Adair Santos and just got in a little bit tight with the guide underneath of him but at this stage it's Kenya in front and by at his second Paralympic Games the bronze medalist in the 5,000 meters here leads by about five meters and the roars from the crowd as Adair Santos who has seven Paralympic medals but yet to taste success with a gold medal moves up into second position on the outside and it's just going to try and tuck in here into the slipstream of the leader as they come towards the home corner with approximately 900 metres to go. It's by in front of Santos and his guy just making sure that he's staying out of trouble on the outside. Denise is next third the inside and they were followed by the Kenyan in fourth position and that is Kamani and they steal a gap then to the Canadian at the back of the field which is Dunkley but as they go past the two lap mark the Brazilians gone to the front Odair Santos two laps to go Santos out in front trying to pick up another gold medal for Brazil they've been so successful only China have won more athletics medals at this Paralympic game so far skips out in front of Hedda Bay Kamani's in third place bit of a gap now slipping back to fourth and that's Denise, the European champion. Can Santos keep it up? Kamani running comfortably on the outside. By still close in in second place. Then that big gap back to fourth and an even bigger gap back to fifth. But Santos with around 500 meters to go out in front and looking good for the two Kenyan athletes behind them, ready, willing and able to bounce. Santos and Nascimento. Silver it was for them in the 5,000 meters. He is the reigning world champion. He collapsed in the 5,000 meters in Doha. Came back to win the 15. He's leading the 1,500 meters final of the Paralympic Games at the bow. And we know he's tough, but he needs to be here to grit on for the final 350 meters. 
as they head towards the back straight. Chasing at the moment is Kamani, who looks a little bit fresh into second place. And then came Denise in third. By has got tied and goes to fourth. So into the back, it is Santos in front. But that gap is starting to weather down. 250 metres to go. He's the reigning world champion. He was also the champion in 2013 in the world champs in Leon. But this is the one he wants the most. He runs off the back. 200 metres to go. He leads by about 12 metres, but Kamani is getting ever so closer the crowd really having to lift now Santos Odair Santos comes round the turn seven Paralympic medals but none of them gold is this his destiny 80 meters to go Kamani's getting closer Santos getting tired Kamani's coming at him Kamani over the top's got him and Kamani's going to come away and win the gold medal from Santos his eighth Paralympic medal a silver again and then in third was Denise and in fourth by or duck They've hit that pretty closely together. 4.03.25 in a thrilling men's 1500 metres T11 final. It wasn't to be for the Brazilian. He's just not been able to see out the final 150 metres, but a well timed run by Samuel Kamani from Kenya, the 26 year old. His time of 4.03.25 beats whatever he's run this year so far. James Boyd, his guide and was brought into the race at the perfect time of the lap to go and then wore down the tiring Brazilian in Odair Santos. Full credit to him, he was the story of the race. And there's Denise, semi Denise from Turkey, the 26-year-old, a bronze medal. But glory for Kenya, Samuel Kamani. Well, he couldn't have timed that much better. And his headlines and Odair Santos yearning for that first ever Paralympic gold medal. It is his eighth, it is another silver. But Cavani timed it well in the closing straight. Around 40 minutes to go, he had the momentum, and Santos had put pretty much everything onto the track that he possibly could have. Great break by Cavani to do the middle distance double. Well, middle and long, 15 and five by the early leader, but he really fell back towards the end, finished in fourth place. Had no problem running on the outside for a lot of that. It was a lot more than 1,500 metres. That was covered tonight by Samuel Kamani. And he was the defending Paralympic champion in this 1,500 metres anyway. Hasn't competed in a global championships, actually, over the past eight years. Funding issues there among that. Santos had got out in the front. Two laps to go, stayed out there until that closing straight. And that's when Kamani decided to go. There might have been room on the inside, but they couldn't take the risk. Went on the outside. Fleet of foot, Samuel Kamani, taking the gold medal. Santos, the silver. The bronze to Denise, really tight for fourth. And Dunkley, I think, just got in ahead of his guide in the end, but he was fifth anyway and by in fourth place. But this was the moment when Santos's dreams of a first ever Paralympic gold fell away, and Kamani pounced perfectly yes we've seen it many times already during the track and field program the paralympic champion versus the world champion and it was the winner from london four years ago prevailing over the world champion in a spectacular finish kamani from kenya a gold medal Confirming the result, the time 403.25.6 quicker than Santos. His eighth Paralympic medal. Denise from Turkey in third place.